again, fellow RC enthusiasts. It's your host, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to give you a quick tutorial on how to update Firma Smart ESCs. Like we have here, we have a Firma 150, which is the 150 amp variant, the 6S variant of the Firma Surface Smart ESCs. So essentially everything you see here on the table is what you're going to need to update a Firma ESC. You're going to need our Spectrum Programmer Box, the SPM XCA 200. You're also going to need the accessories that come with it, i.e. the male-to-male -male servo lead and a USB cable. You're also going to need a power source for the ESC. So I have a 4S battery that I'm going to plug into the ESC. And you're also going to need a laptop or PC computer, something that's running Windows, essentially. So, and then you'll download a program which is free on our website, and I'll walk you through how to do that. Before we get into the computer portion of this video, let's talk about where to plug in our programmer. We've covered this in previous videos, but we'll go ahead and reiterate. If you look at your ESC, and let's go ahead and focus in on it, If you look at your ESC, there's a fan port, right? That's where the fan plugs in here. There's three pins there. That is where we're going to plug in our lead for our programmer. Looking at the pin port, there is a little label that tells us what negative, positive, and signal is. Essentially, signal is gonna go towards the middle. So the white wire is gonna go towards the middle. Voila, like that. And then you take your programmer box and you look at the side, there is these number of uh, different ports here. We're just gonna use the USB portion and what says ESC. So you got signal, positive and negative. It's all laid out there for you, pretty easy to use and simple. And that's essentially all you gotta do when you're getting ready to update it. Let's go ahead and jump down to my laptop computer and I'll walk you through the steps on how to download the program and how to use it to update your Firma ESCs. Okay, so first off, you're gonna want to go to our website. This is probably the best place to start for this sort of update. And we're gonna search for the ESC that we're trying to update. Like I said, this is for the Firma 130, the 150, or the 160, or even the Marine ESC. Pretty much any Firma ESC that we come out with in the future is gonna be using this to update the ESC. We're gonna click go. And we're gonna go to the ESC in question. Go ahead. And we're gonna to go to manuals and support here down in the middle. And there's a couple of options. You can just go ahead and click and download the firmware updater right there at the bottom line here. Or if you wanna see the change log, which is what I would recommend, you can click on Firma Smart ESC Update Instructions and Change Log. This is going to download a Word document, which is going to have links and things like that in it, so you can kind of work from there. If you don't have Word, it'll just open it up in your browser. Mine's gonna open it up in Word for us. We kind of go over what you need, what I've just told you guys all about. Not a big deal, we don't need to reiterate all this stuff, but it's there for you. And then you can look down at the change log. We're looking at the Firma 150 here. And we see that there are two different firmwares that improve the acceleration power. I'm gonna go ahead and think that I'm gonna use it for the B2.11 for an off-road vehicle. Just kind of pretending to that. And then if we go up here to the step-by-step, -step, there's gonna be an, a separate link for each ESC. I'm gonna hit Control and click on the link. There's other ways to get to that link. It's just gonna do that for us. We'll click yes. Okay, it's gonna download the file in our browser. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna extract it. So this is a zip file, you have to extract it to get access to all the programs and files within it. Click extract, we'll just extract it to the same spot. Normally Windows will just open it up for us after it's done extracting. All right, now we've got it un extracted or uncompressed. And we're gonna go down to Spectrum USB link, this guy here. And again, Windows is trying to protect your PC. These files are fine. They may not have been gone through the, the Windows registry as a recognized app. Just click more info here. 
and hit run anyway. This is if you're window, running Windows 10, you'll have similar procedures if you're running Windows 7 or XP or anything like that. And here is the programmer. So next step is to plug in our USB cable. So we'll take our USB cable that came with the Spectrum ESC programmer box, plug it into an open USB port, and then we'll plug it in to the programmer. And then we'll take our ESC, and like I was saying, we're gonna plug in this wire into the port on the side. Keeping note of the polarity. Polarity is always important, guys. Because sometimes if it's plugged in wrong, it won't work. Or worst case scenario, fry something. You should not be able to do that, but if you really jack things up, you could. All right. And then with one hand, we're going to plug in our battery. Oh yeah. Plugged in. And then we're going to turn on our ESC. Like that. And you should see the little LED start to flash there. And once the ESC is powered on, we're going to hit this button. And then you'll see a progress bar on the screen. And then you'll be able to change settings and all that good jazz on your ESC. You're gonna to go to firmware update or upgrade rather. And it'll show us what our firmware version is already on the ESC. I've upgraded it earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and downgrade it technically to the off-road spec. So we and you'll have a progress bar, real simple. Um, it's gonna take a little while. Unfortunately, it is a little slow. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's all you really need to do, and we're done. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC signing off. Drive smart, everybody.